Okay, so now that I have my uh, packs uh, built, um, my problem now is to charge them. This uh, is half of the pack that's required to parallel into the Nissan Leaf. Now half of a Nissan Leaf pack is fully charged would be about 198 volts. So how do you uh, cheaply charge 198 volts DC? Well, <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be any way to do it cheaply. So what I've decided to do for now uh, is charge them in uh, small parts. So here, from here to here, actually that's probably, this is the reason I built it this way, uh, six cells in series uh, is a more manageable uh, 24.8 volts. So I'll be charging these six and these six and so on and so forth all up to the appropriate voltage of 24.8 um, and then once they're all charged I should obtain a total voltage on this pack of 198 and once I put this one in series with my other pack I'll get the 396 volts that I require for to parallel in with the Nissan Leaf. Now how do I do this? <coughs> I do this using one of these. This is a DC to DC converter um, which you can get on eBay for under four dollars US. They can do seven to thirty-two volts uh, in to 0.8 to 28 volts out. So that's uh, perfect. Now I need to power that up. To do that cheaply, I use a computer power supply which is 12 volts. Now if I put two 12 volt power supplies, I would, I would get 24 volts, which is under the 28 I require. Um, so what I did is I got one of these. These are laptop power packs from an HP. These are what came with uh, a docking station back in the day. They are 19.95 volts, 11 amps, so plenty of power. <clears throat> so the 12 volts in series with the 19, well, basically 20 volts, gives me 32 volts. So that's uh, nice and above the 28 volts I require. So that's my input. These are, like I said, wires in series. I put. Uh, they're, they're hidden here. This is a diode, and there's a diode in here, just so that when I power them up, they can't backfeed and, and blow each other out. <coughs> so these two in series go into the input, and then on the output side, I wired one of these cheap hobby um, watt meters. So currently, you can see that I have zero amps, 24.99 volts. So these are probably not very precise. Uh, my voltmeter is telling me I got 24.8, which is what I, want, I need. <clears throat> so now, if you follow the wire along, I've got these little connectors on. So these will be easy to clip on to the leads. You can see that. So I'll be able to attach these easily and then move them along to charge them. So I'd charge the, I'll need to solder something here, but the negative and then the positive and then charge the next series, sorry, sorry in six, six. When you charge battery packs in series, um, you have to watch uh, that they're balanced. So obviously these cells, they've been sitting around, some of them are obviously wouldn't be at the same voltage. So let's show you what I've done here. So on this pack, I connected balance leads using the same little connectors. They're all connected on each cell and you can see these uh, you can get from uh, Hobby King so I don't, I, they're under I think about 10 bucks so I've got uh, voltages going from 3.79 all the way to 3.89 so most of these cells should be around 3.8. That's what I've been charging them to. The, the one that is higher, I'm assuming it's because at first I used to use the IMAX clone to do a storage mode and it, its storage mode was a bit higher than what I wanted. So now that I, uh, I 
the other ones are 3.8. So th there's a balance function here. So if I do balance, it'll, it'll balance the cells. Right now, if I hit balance, nothing's going to happen because I set the required voltage at 3.9. So they all have to be above 3.9 before it starts balancing. So what I'll do now is I'll connect these leads. So this is the negative, which I need to connect to the negative. And then the positive. It's hard to do this one-handed, but we'll get to it. So here we go. So if you look at here, the voltage have already climbed and it's trying to balance the ones that are above. If I go back down here, we are charging at 2.8 amps roughly. I'll confirm this with my clip on meter. So I'll just reset this. But I got to about 2.5 here, so that's good. Um, these constant current, constant voltage, you can adjust the current output and the voltage output. So this so happens to be about the, where I would like it to be, 2.5 amps. I don't want to charge them too quickly. Um, so there's two cells in parallel, so they're each getting a, a little over a one amp charge rate, which is fine. And so we'll leave the, let this go until it equalizes. Uh, gradually, the current should drop. And uh, right now, you can see it's getting 24.5 volts. And uh, so we'll let this go. Let's see what this looks like. You can see the lowest voltage right now is 3.98. Okay, so I'll probably let this go for roughly uh, half a day. So I'll try to do one pack, well, six of them every 12 hours. So we'll, we'll give you an update once that's done.